and girls. I am so glad that you're here with us today. And if this is your first time here, welcome. We are so excited that you're joining us on our adventure with God. So today we are beginning a new adventure called Game Changer. Can we all say that together? Very good. So on our adventure with Game Changer, we get to be on God's team. God wants us on his team, and we're going to learn what it means to be on his team and how we could work together to move together with him as we discover, encounter, and learn how to display the love of Jesus. So boys and girls, are you ready to move into our adventure of Game Changer? Oh, uh, let's try that again. Are you ready to move into our adventure of Game Changer? Awesome. So then how do we begin our adventures, boys and girls? That's right, we begin our adventures by centering our hearts on God. Because when we center our hearts on God, we get to move with Him in all our adventures. And moving with God is the best way to move. So let's all stand up and center our hearts. We center our hearts on God when we love always, trust God no matter what, and make wise choices. Very good. Now that our hearts are centered, are you ready to move our bodies into worship? Let's all stand up even higher, stretch, reach to the sky, and let's move into worship. Hi, how's it going? You guys ready for worship? Let's go. We live in a great big world that needs to hear about a great big love. We need to tell the story to every little boy and girl. We gotta go, go, go. Jesus said to go, go, go. We need to tell the story of Jesus and his Love 
to just sit in your word and learn more about you, God, and learn what kind of character you want us to have. In your name, amen. Wow, what an amazing time of worship. Thank you, Ms. Courtney and Ms. Aubrey, for leading us into our time of worship and for helping us to show God how much we love him. We really appreciate you. Okay, team, are you ready? to move deeper into our adventure, and to hear from God today? <laughs> Me too. So let's all fold our hands and pray and ask God to help us encounter and meet Him today. God, thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for all the things that you've been doing in our lives and for all the adventures that you have been taking us through. Help us to open our ears and our hearts so we can encounter you and meet you here today and speak to us and let us hear from you and let us grow in our relationship with you. We love you, God, and we praise you. And in Jesus' name, all God's children said, Amen. So boys and girls, I have a question for you. Today's question of the day is, who likes sports? 
Raise your hand if you like sports. That's a lot. What kind of sports do you like? Ooh, those are really fun sports to play. For me, I really like sports like baseball, football, rugby, soccer, basketball, and tandem surfing. And you know what all these sports have in common? They have a team that works together. Team is such an awesome thing because we get to work with our friends, we get to work with people that we just met, and team is actually God's idea. Raise your hand if you've ever been on a team before. Yeah, and what was it like? Pretty fun, right? Well, God loves it when we are on his team and he loves seeing his sons and his daughters, including you and me, serving and loving God and others. And today we're gonna look at a book in the book of Acts where a group of people, a team of people who love God and who love others work together to share God's love. Let's take a look at the book. Today's play comes from a book in the Bible called Acts. Can you shout Acts? Acts. In Acts, we see a team of people who loved God and wanted to learn more about Him. They shared all they had with each other. They ate together and prayed together. God was doing amazing miracles in and through His team. God's team helped everyone around them. If someone needed food to eat, a place to live, or clothes to wear, God's team would help them right away. Every day, God's team hung out together. Their hearts were happy. They praised God by singing songs and telling Him how much they loved Him. The people on God's team were kind to all people. And every day, God added more and more people to His amazing team. God wants you and me to be on His team, just like the people, the team in the book of Acts. No matter how old you are, no matter what color you are, no matter where you're from, God wants you to be on his team because he loves each and every one of us. God created us and he chose us to be a part of his team. God knows you by your name. He knows your name, boys and girls, and he loves you so much that he loves everything about you. And the best part is that being on God's team means that you'll never be alone. Not only do we have God who will be with us anytime and anywhere, but God also brought people into our lives. Let's all look around. Look around your house, look around wherever you are, or look up at me. Who do you see? Who are you with? God invited all of us to be a part of his team so that we can help each other and we can share God's love with each other because being on God's team helps us to become better when we're together. So let's look at the memory verse for this month. We have a new memory verse that comes from Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. So this, repeat after me. Ready? Two people are better than one because they help each other in everything they do. Can we say Ecclesiastes? Very good. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. When we are on God's team, we get to become a team together, helping each other out, helping each other to love others better, to trust God no matter what, and to be there for each other to make wise choices. Isn't that awesome? God loves us so much that he brought people into our lives because he knew that when we are on God's team, we are better together, leading us to our big idea. Can we all stand up and let's say our big idea together? Are you ready? Here you go. On God's team, we are better together. Very good. Now we're going to say it as quiet as we can. Are you ready? On God's team, we are better together. Now we're going to say it as loud as we can so our neighbors can hear it and they can be a part of God's team too. Are you ready? Here we go. On God's team, we are better together. Very good, boys and girls. 
So no matter how old you are, no matter what color you are, no matter where you're from, God loves you and he wants you to be a part of God's team. And when we are on God's team, God will move in us. He will move with us in all our adventures and he will move through us, reaching out to people around us so that they can be a part of God's team too. So for today's real question, raise your hand if you want to be a part of God's team. Me too. Let's all pray together and let God know that we want to be on his team starting today. Let's all hold our hands and pray together. Repeat after me. Hi God, thank you so much for loving me. I want to be on your team. Help me to move with you and to move with you with my family, my friends, and whoever else you bring into my life. I love you, I choose you, and in Jesus' name, all God's children said, Amen. Very good, boys and girls. So, to practice on how to be better together, we have a really fun activity for you coming up, so stay tuned. Welcome back, boys and girls. Are you ready for our encounter activity today? Great. So what was our big idea today? That's right. On God's team, we are better together. And so today we are going to play a game that requires teamwork. So grab a friend, grab your cousin, grab your mom, your dad, your brother, sister, whoever's with you, just one person. And then grab a ball. Now, probably something bigger than this. Maybe a basketball, a soccer ball, or even a football. Okay, once you have your ball, we're gonna sit back to back. So sit on the ground, facing your back towards each other. And then we're gonna place this ball right between you and your partner. And then your goal for this game is to stand up without using your hands and keeping your ball behind you, between your partner. <laughs> So, can we try that? Let's all grab a ball, sit down. We're gonna put a ball on our back and we're gonna try to stand up. Now, if the ball falls, we're gonna start again and try it again. Does that sound good? So this game requires a lot of teamwork, but I know you can do it because I have seen you play games and you are awesome at it. So I hope to see you guys post a picture or a video of you playing this with your teammate and you can leave it with the hashtag of Kids Life at the Well. Well, boys and girls, I have such an amazing time hanging out with you, hanging out with God with you. And before we leave, don't forget, we have Zoom calls on Mondays. What time on Mondays? Very good. Mondays at noon. And this is for all of Kids Life to come together where we play games, we hang out with God, we hang out with each other. And it's a day filled with laughters and lots of fun. And then, kindergartners, when do we have our Zoom calls? That's right, we have Zoom calls on Thursday nights at 6.30 p.m. where we can look at the book together and hang out with God. So you can join Miss Ashley and me on Thursday nights at 6.30 p.m. for kindergartners and first graders. So boys and girls, did you have fun today? I sure did. Well, I hope to see you guys on Monday. And remember, you are loved. See you soon. Bye.